drop down and the budgeting we see all the budgets that we've made all one of them here and we can hit the drop down and say i would like to edit that budget and fix it so let's edit it and then i'm looking for the interest line i'll just do it this way instead of fixing the import template and then importing it again as a different budget we could do that if it was a extensive uh, change or difference that we needed to fix otherwise i think the easiest thing is just to go in here and uh put what we need to put in here so it was like other income man there's a lot of accounts i got lost here it is i think it's interest expense so right there and then this one actually goes down so it's a little bit of a pain because i have to put in each individual number so it's 334 then 318 so i'm going to say all right this is 334 and then and then uh that's the total i'm not going to put it in the total yet Let's go one by one. This is three, three, four. And then it goes to three, one, eight, three, oh, two. So I'm going to go, okay. Uh, three, one, eight tab, three, oh, two tab. And then we're at, uh, 287, 272. So 287 tab. 272 tab i'm on june okay so then 259 246 so 259 tab 246 tab we're in august so 233 222 so 233 222 and then i'm gonna go to october 211 200 190 uh two one one two hundred one ninety was it two one one two hundred so hopefully i got that right the total gives us a, a check so that should total out to the budget total 3074 so 3073 it's off by rounding so i think that's good all right so let's go ahead and save it i have fixed it I have fixed it. So we've we've done it, fixed the issue. Hopefully, let's check it out. Let's go back on over and run it. And then we'll check our net income on the bottom line. So the total net income, that's probably the first easiest thing to check. 125,969. So 125,969 about. And then we could check each of the lines if we wanted to. And if this was, if this check was off, then the next thing we would check is each of the lines, is each month off. If each month was off in the net income total, it would indicate that a whole line was missing or, or messed up or something like that. If only one month is off, then of course, I can then drill down on any one particular month. So, so we can check each of these line items, you know, 23, 817, 2194, and 18, 522, 21, 8, 16, 21, 93, da, 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 Okay, so I think these are correct. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume they're correct for the practice problem purposes, uh, but that's the idea of it. If you, if you remember that these budget reports don't have a, da a double entry accounting system to make sure that they're input correctly. It's just, it's just pure data input. So you have to, you have to, you, you can use a double entry accounting system over here when you construct your budgets. Notice that we, we haven't really here. Why? Because we just did the income statement to do a double entry accounting system. You'd have to kind of basically budget your entire financial statement, right? You would have to look at the income statements impact on the balance sheet, which we'll give some assumptions to next time. We'll, we'll take a look at that to some extent, but uh, to you know, to do the full process, you'd have to think about a cash flow budget, a purchases of capital asset budget, and so on. So that, and then we basically think of the whole journal entry process, right? Of thinking of where we where we were before, and then how we would get to where we're going to be, which would be represented by the balance sheet. The balance sheet providing you a double entry system, which would then give you some assurance that your budget, you know, makes sense from a from that point of view. But here, when we just do the data input here, like with a tax return, like a Schedule C tax return or something, we don't have the balance sheet on it. 
So it's, it's so it's kind of like you're just winging it. If it's if you do a data input mistake, then it's then you're going to have to just find it by double checking that we don't have the beauty of the double entry accounting system uh, to, to 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 lower the mistakes a lot. If we're on a basic tax return like a Schedule C, same here. You do that. You do the data input. You you get the information. You're just doing pure data input. It should mirror the look and form of uh, the financial statement. But like I say, we don't have each form up here creating a journal entry that has two sides to it, and therefore gives us a double entry system, lowering the the likelihood of errors. Therefore, you might want to put a couple sets of eyes on this just to make sure that the the data has been input correctly put a couple double checks on it uh and then and then we'll run it going forward so we'll take a look at uh the report in a little bit more detail next time and we'll take a look at the other report which is the budget versus actual